Hey guys, Perry here. Welcome back to a brand new edition of Collider Scoreboard. This one is all about the Golden Globes and specifically about the movies at the Golden Globes. We are going to predict who is going to take home those statues right now. I'm hoping I'm going to win, but you know, I work with some pretty knowledgeable people. So we'll see what happens. We're going to start off this show with the category that is best motion picture drama. The nominees in that category are Call Me By Your Name, Dunkirk, The Post, The Shape of Water, and three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Christian, what do you got for me in this category? I think that The Shape of Water is going to win the Oscar for Best Picture. I really do. However, for the Golden Globe, I think they're going to give it to The Post. I'm going to go with The Shape of Water because I think there's a reason why it's the most nominated movie of the year at the Golden Globes. I think there's a lot of love for it. It's my favorite movie of the year, Shape of Water. Well, my choice in this category has got to be The Shape of Water. I think it's one of the best films made this year. And I think it's got seven nominations at the Golden Globes for a reason. It's because the people love it at the uh, Hollywood Forum Press, so I think it's going to win. My pick for Best Picture, also my favorite movie of the year, The Shape of Water. I was deciding between Dunkirk and The Shape of Water, but I'm gonna go with The Shape of Water. It's beautifully haunting, and I believe the voters uh, are more interested in this type of movie. So my pick in this category is not gonna be The Post, even though I think The Post has a shot. Instead, I gotta go with The Shape of Water, and it's pretty much because The Shape of Water has the most nominations, and when that happens, it tends to hint at what is gonna win this award, that is my pick. Next up, we have Best Motion Picture for a Comedy or a Musical. The nominations there are The Disaster Artist, Get Out, The Greatest Showman, I, Tanya, and Lady Bird. This one is all about Lady Bird. I think it's Lady Bird's award to lose. I really think that that one clearly is a critical darling. And it's one of those movies that I really think not necessarily hit home in a way that every single person out there could relate to it, but there was really something that just about everybody who has grown up with a family, no matter where you are, could love and really hold on to. And the idea that Saoirse Ronan has that nomination in the Best Actress category, I think that's a good sign for this one to take this win. Christian, what's your pick in this category? What you mean? I'll tell you who should win, and that's The Disaster Artist. And absolutely, it is hands down the funniest movie. It is the out of the movies that are nominated, there are four that should be nominated for comedy or musical. The one that will win is the one that is not, and that is Get Out. All right, my choice for this is Lady Bird. I think, I think a lot of people are really loving the film and enjoying it. You're getting a lot of people predicting that this is going to win, and I got to go along with them as much as I would love I, Tanya, to take this one. I think Lady Bird will. I have to go with Get Out. I know it's not like the right category, but this movie was so interesting, so unique. I got to go for it. I think the voters are going to go with Lady Bird. It's a charming coming-of-age story that I think all of them enjoyed. Get Out, I think, will get the win because they want to acknowledge what a wonderful movie it is, how it changed the conversation, how it has moved forward. A lot of themes and a lot of things happening in this world we live in right now. And Jordan Peele just massaging this wonderful movie out there. Get Out is going to be out of left field. It's going to win Best Picture. Comedy or musical, everybody's going to go, what the hell? It's not a comedy or a musical. Neither was The Martian. They're just going to acknowledge Get Out is going to win. Next up, we are going on to the drama category for Best Actress, and there we have Jessica Chastain for Molly's Game, Sally Hawkins for The Shape of Water, Frances McDormand for Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri, Meryl Streep for The Post, and Michelle Williams for All the Money in the World. Best Actress Drama, everybody's talking about it. I'm going with what everybody's talking about, Frances McDormand for three billboards. Okay, I'm gonna go against the grain here. A lot of people have Frances McDormand for three billboards. I'm actually gonna go with Sally Hawkins. This is Frances McDormand's year. I think it's her award to lose, even though I would not mind seeing Sally Hawkins take the win. I wanna win these games, so I'm going Frances McDormand. Frances McDormand for the win. I'm going outside the box. I know everyone thinks Frances McDormand's gonna win this thing. I think Sally Hawkins is gonna win this thing. I gotta give it to Sally Hawkins. And just her performance in The Shape of Water without speaking a single word in the movie moved me so much to tears. I think she really, really deserves a win. 
Best Actress in a Musical or Comedy. The nominees in that category are Judi Dench for Victoria and Abdul, Margot Robbie for I, Tanya, Saoirse Ronan for Lady Bird, Emma Stone for Battle of the Sexes, and Helen Mirren for The Leisure Seeker. A lot of pros going up on this one. The old school versus the new school, but I think new school is going to get it. I think Saoirse Ronan for Lady Bird is going to get the win. I'm going to go with Saoirse Ronan for Lady Bird. I think she did a wonderful job in that film, and I think there's too much going for this film. This was a pretty easy choice for me, Saoirse Ronan for Lady Bird. I am going Saoirse Ronan with this one. She has had two nominations before. I think this is going to be the year that she wins, especially for a beloved movie like Lady Bird. Listen, I really want to go with Margot Robbie in this category, but unfortunately, people love Lady Bird. You're hearing all this stuff. I think Cersei Ronan, she's been nominated three times. There's no way she's not going to take this thing. I'm going out of left field here. I think she deserves it. Margot Robbie at, for I, Tanya. I think she deserves the win. I think it's a great performance, and there is a little wild card there with I know the Golden Globes want to do something different sometimes. They do surprise sometimes, I think. Margot Robbie is going to win for I, Tanya. All right, moving on to the Best Actor categories. Now, first up, we are doing drama. Here we've got Timothy Chalamet for Call Me By Your Name, Daniel Day-Lewis for Phantom Thread, Tom Hanks for The Post, Gary Oldman for Darkest Hour, and Denzel Washington for Roman J. Israel Esquire. Okay, I thought it was going to be, for me, like Tom Hanks for The Post, and then I saw Gary Oldman in The Darkest Hour, and that was it, no contest. Best actor drama, Gary Oldman, Darkest Hour. Hands down, that's it, he wins. You don't negotiate with a tiger when your head is in its mouth! Gary Oldman for the win. There is no denying Gary Oldman in this category. He is absolutely going to win. He is a powerhouse. I am going with Gary Oldman for this one. I think those are all great performances. And if anybody upsets him, I think it's going to be Timothy Chalamet. But between a great performance and that overall transformation, I think that's what they're going to go for in this category. Everyone is picking Gary Oldman. And that was going to be my first initial choice for The Darkest Hour. But I'm going to go with... Daniel Day-Lewis for The Th Phantom Thread. He is arguably the best actor we've ever seen, and it's hard to go against him. All right, next up for best actor, we have to do comedy or musical. In that category, the nominees are Steve Carell for Battle of the Sexes, Ansel Elgort for Baby Driver, James Franco for The Disaster Artist, Hugh Jackman for The Greatest Showman, and Daniel Kaluuya for Get Out. Again, I think Get Out is a great movie. It has no business anything in this category. It's not a comedy. And Daniel Kalula does not deserve to be nominated for this role. Dr drama, yes. But I still think he's going to win, even though I think, what do you mean? James Franco should win this, hands down. I'm going to go with Daniel Kalula, though. For, I think that Get Out is a really good movie, and I think people are going to vote for it. But I think James Franco should win. I'm really surprised. I really want to go with Daniel Kaluuya here. But I think they want to give Disaster Artist some love, and James Franco is going to take this thing. In this category, I wouldn't mind seeing Daniel Kaluuya steal the award. But again, I have to win this game, and that means I'm going James Franco for the Disaster Artist. You got to give it to James Franco. I'm going to go with James Franco here for the Disaster Artist. I think for best actor for comedy or musical is going to have to go to uh, James Franco for the Disaster Artist. He really captured the essence of Tommy Wiseau. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. All right, our last category for this edition of Scoreboard is going to be a wild card. So one of the categories we haven't spoken about yet Choose anything you want, make a prediction. If you get it right, you get a point. It's that simple. My prediction is coming in the best song category, and I think it's kind of obvious that it's gonna go to Remember Me from Coco. It's a great song. And also, where is Call Me By Your Name in this category? But really, I wanna win the game, so yeah, I'm going with Coco for this. Okay, my wild card pick is Best Supporting Actress, and that goes to Allison Janney in I, Tanya. Uh, my wild card pick is Best Original Score, and I'm gonna go with Hans Zimmer for Dunkirk. We had him in the studio. I can't get rid of my man love for him. Guillermo del Toro winning best director. That is my wild card. Here's my wild card and we didn't have it on there. It's for best director. Del Toro's taking the win here for Shape of Water. All right, guys, that's it for a movie edition of the Golden Globe Collider Scoreboard. Be sure to hit that comment section below. Share some of your thoughts on the categories that we highlighted in this. And also, if you have predictions in some of the other categories, we want to hear about that, too. Also, be sure to keep an eye out for the results video, which we're going to run next week. Hope you guys enjoy the Golden Globes. No matter who wins, we got a whole bunch of movies to celebrate. And that is awesome.